Hey guys, someone just tweeted me today saying that the new um, info cards that are going to be replacing uh, YouTube annotations most likely seem to be rolling out on a broader scale. And so I want to show you guys what they are real quick and then I'm going to dig into them for the first time myself. But this is what it looks like. Here's a video that's had it for a while. I'm just going to hit pause. But it's this little I button thing right at the top. If you let it play for a little bit, some text will come up over it like that and kind of give it you know more visibility but if you click on it you get this sidebar of other things that you can click on it looks like they're doing other videos but you can use these to link to a whole bunch of different things and that's uh, what is rolling out and these do work across mobile so it will be a better experience for the user than just annotations and it looks like from everything I've heard from people who have been using these for a while and testing them with YouTube they say the click-through rate is way higher with these uh, and the conversion rate than YouTube annotations have been so it looks like this is going to be a good welcome feature so let me dig into a little bit of my channel I'm gonna I'm just gonna go to like this uh, the way you get to it um, my video manager I'll go to the last week's video and here it is at the top you still have annotations but I am going to go over here to cards and I'm gonna put this on pause because I don't really want to play it and then here's where you can add different cards right here click on card and you do one for associated website which is where you feature the website that is linked to your YouTube channel fan funding which is a thing on the front of your page where people can support you directly through uh, your YouTube channel goes through Google Wallet. Um, fundraising is if you are you have offsite like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, Patreon, things like that. It would be uh, you could feature them through a fundraising card. Merchandise is feature a product on supported merchandise. So those are like uh, websites that have been whitelisted that you want to uh, link to. You know, so like Shopify. Um, uh, there's like a whole long list. I don't think Amazon is on there, unfortunately, but um, there's like a long list of different e-commerce sites you can link to if you're going to sell something. And then, of course, you can link to a video or a playlist. So these are the most common uses of annotations anyway. In fact, you can't even do fan funding annotations um, as it currently stands. So it's actually more. So let's uh, let's dig into some of these. Let's start with the top one, associated website. And you, if you haven't done that, you can go through the settings. But uh, I'm going to get a website. Let's just say I want to link to this page. You know, people can get my free ebook, The Secret to Building Your YouTube Audience. So I'm going to snag that URL. I'm going to come back here and paste it in there. And it's probably going to generate a preview for me. Um, download my free ebook called The Secret to Building a YouTube Audience. Oh, it's too long. Uh, let me just take this part out. There. Call to action. Got the right image. Create card. So there's one. That's going to be that one right there. I could add another one. Let's say uh, fan funding. And I already have that all set up. So I'm just going to click on create card. So people can do that one. Uh, I don't think I would recommend you enable all of these. I think it's better to probably have like a clear order two to go to. But I'm just going to test all these for the sake of example. Um, Patreon.com slash video creators. Uh, it's going to probably grab a preview of that also. Let's just do that right now. Oh, too long. Okay. Uh, let's just go with that. Okay, there's my Patreon page. I guess I can skip through different thumbnails. Let's just go with... Uh, Let's just go with that one for now. I don't think I'm going to actually enable all these. I'm just going through them for the sake of the example. You could create multiple ones here too, it looks like. So if you wanted multiple ones, you could. Uh, I don't really have any merch off site that I want to do. Let's do the, um, let's do this. I could do uploads or playlists. Let's say I want to link to all my YouTube uh, tips and tricks playlists. Let's do a card for that one. And there we go. So. I have all those pretty much set up. I can go back and create some other links it looks like. But then when people click it, this is what they see. So the way you adjust the order actually is by spreading them all out among your along your timeline. So the order you have a little info thing appear is the order that they're going to appear in this list. So you can see I have YouTube tip, tips and tricks coming first, then support this channel, then support video creators, and then associated website. So that's the order that they are in in here. So the way it works is um, that I'm going to hit play. So you see this little eye that disappears. 
until you start your header starts uh, your playhead starts getting close to when your next one is going to start here it comes it's coming right here right there see popped out and then uh, and so then if I can I can click it and it'll just have that one it'll be right at the bottom automatically to that that thing where they can click uh, and then let me scroll back and let you see that again though because it stays up for a little bit uh, and then it will disappear so it's gone and as soon as my playhead gets to it it'll pop open right there and it'll stay for let's see about five seconds or so it, it seems like yeah for about five seconds and then it disappears and I can get it back if I hover my mouse over it you know I can get back to it but it doesn't stay visible so it's a really good like pretty slick way to grab someone's attention at a certain spot in your video and then give them access to all the links and things that you're talking about right there in the player across mobile devices. So go check out your channel now. See if you have this cards thing at the top. If you have any good tips or tricks or things that you've learned, if you already do have access and you've been one of the testers of this with YouTube, definitely comment below and let the rest of us know. And if this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for our normally scheduled stuff. I just wanted to do this one because I didn't talk about this in tomorrow's video. So just a little dedicated extra video for you guys. So thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.